So this guy is one insane player. Hello, Manuel. If I, I will one one second, I will see. If I don't see Tiny on uh, on Dumpstead Sport, I'm banning him. If I don't see Tiny right here, he's out. What is this clockwork? Clockwork? Where's the Tiny? Dumpstead, where is the Tiny? What is this? Is he? How is he gonna? Where's the Tiny? Okay. Oh, okay. No, never mind. Never mind. He's back. He's back. Showing his dominance with Tiny on board. So what are the relics? Okay. So. We will see goblins this game. 100%. Reroll is insanely good. Because you have three relics for reroll. We have four relics for reroll. You have all of the... Re oh, sorry. You have all of the good uh, reroll relics. You have shrink ray. You have discount. You have key. And you have vault. Insane. For late game, you have vault and you have mangoes. Uh, March is also really good for reroll because you can use it on 20 often. Really good. Shroud is good for late game. Damn. This is... This is going to be a hard game. It's going to be a hard game. Um... I would say three cost sins is a very good option. Warrior Guard is honestly not bad if you know how to play it. But then you need to make sure that you aren't con think getting contested by two cost. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see which uh, items folks get. Yeah, and we also have dragons, shamans, warriors, guards, sins. See the relics. Classico is going for this strong early priest start. Okay, he actually is. Interesting. I would have never done this. So, we see Kaya on uh, Tinker Corkid. Prangle Boots on Classico. Cap on SSS. Dumpstud with the Sharko. Oh my damn. Oh my god. Cap on the Coco. Oh my god. DLC has priests. Fancy Pants is running a uh, hood. A Coco had a. Uh, what was it called? The uh, cap. Coco had the Kaya. This was Shako. Queen number one is playing. Telescope. I wonder if he random this or if he picked it. So, this is something you would see me do play Ogre and then Bounties. Because they like Ogre. Thumbstead might also be going too cost with this. Okay. Wyvern early. And... This was Tranquil Boots. This is not a strong board. Coco might suffer this game. <laughs> Hello, Quake. I am happy to broadcast this as well. So, the most interesting thing right now is, will this guy, will this guy be winning rounds? Because he has, he has a cap and the Coco also has cap. If they win rounds, it can snowball really fast. This is a super wonky bot to play, I feel like. But uh, Classico is one amazing player. Oh my damn, that is actually crazy. no gyro though imagine if there were no gyro gyro last game last game uh, 1874 would probably have played a real game <laughs> so dumpstead Dumps as we all know is very strong uh, bot player he sold the tiny though which is a huge mistake because tiny is one of the best units in the entire game especially on board
the cap players are not doing too well. I think so as well. Venge is very strong. I would definitely play Venge with this double legion. This looks good. <laughs> Holy shit, Quake. Holy shit, man. Whoa, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. Damn, thank you so much, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you've been doing well. I haven't seen seen you so much, but I hope you've been doing really well, well man. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry, there's not too much to say right now. We're looking around. Yeah, thank you so much, Koki, for the support. It really means it really means the world. So let's let's look a little bit about what people might be doing. This could be two cost setup by DLC. It's also good two cost items, they get it. It's also he said it also setting off for gobs. I have no idea what SSS is setting up for, but he plays a lot of crazy shit. A coco is just playing uh, cap gaming, I get it. Fancy pants could be setting up for TP Kia. Makes sense with these items, actually. He sold. Okay, interesting. Of course, Quake. Of course. I hope work is still good, even if you are getting crushed by it. You're welcome always to be here. Again, man, thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you so much for 10 more subs. Thank you so much. It really, the support really means so, so, so fucking much. So thank you, an insane amount. I'm happy you're here. Dumpstead setting up for two things. Dumpstead actually setting up for three things. TP. Def Dumpstead definitely wants to play reroll. I get it. Is this guy gonna go Hunter Elf? Is that what we're gonna see? And Classico also doing really well. Interesting. It seems to be like more reroll heavy compared to last uh, match. Creep round. This would be the most tense thing if I were playing. Uh, if I were playing the the game, because I would be losing here. <laughs> and Karrion, thank you so much for gifting a sub to his squeaky son. <laughs> so, I guess I have a question to you guys. Do you think reroll would win this? Because I think reroll might struggle if too many people are going reroll. So, let's see the relics. No one is selecting early. Corkit goes for Vault. Coco goes for Vault. I like this. Let me see the late game. Someone got shit options, for sure. DLC goes for Vault. Yes. Let me see. Let me see. This guy did not get good options. This guy did also not get good, good options, I think. Fancy Pants did also not. Fancy Pants is spinning around. He's like, what the fuck am I doing? He's playing empty board. He's going mangoes. Good choice. Dumpster did not select. Classico did not select. This guy went mango as well. Okay. Horse shitting eggs. Who's the horse, the horse uh, egg shitter?
Well, let's see. No one actually went reroll so far. I mean, you can deal reroll with uh, with Volt if you want. We might be seeing it. No, a cock is going late. I think. DLC is gonna do goblins. Maybe this could also be. Sorry, this could be goblins. It could also be a uh, delayed. Classico is the only one who didn't choose yet. He's playing. He's going uh, Mango as well, or what? Oh shit, I still have the music on. I forgot. Yeah, it could be Volt, could also be Mangoes. Okay, he's winning. It's good. Dumpstead Vault as well. And March for Classico. Okay. So, if you guys... Uh, if you guys were in this game, I assume most of us, most of us would all agree that March is the hardest relic to play here. Yeah, SSS is top eight. Uh, yeah, this is SSS. Sorry. I would say SSS has a hard game in front of him, because look at the board he's playing and the scaling he's getting versus this. All of these guys are going to scale much easier than him. So he needs to figure out a way to scale, even though he did not get a good scaling relic. This is a terrible situation to be in. Uh, I would say the mango is also not as good as the vault. Um, but mangoes can still do a lot of work, but it's not vault good. It's the only good thing about mangoes is you could go vault on 20 if you really, 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 really want it. Classico is just playing on top with both priests and warriors and sniper this is a weird ass board but classico knows his fucking game and it's also playing much once again i'm super worried here because he also needs to win round 15. dlc is going late nice no one is doing reroll except no one is doing reroll except not a single player is doing reroll except one guy but we will see we will see how uh, the burger rooney does What's the game otherwise looking? In the end, this game... I think since is the strongest late game you can hit here. Uh, Dragon late game is also very good, but you're lacking control in the Dragon late game. Uh, your control would kind of be primal, which is not that amazing. So I would say Sins looks better here. Uh, there could also be like a Warlock, uh, Ogre, Troll, Warlock like a late game, but you don't have cards, so it's also harder to do. So I would be looking for this specifically and play into this with Sins. I wonder if Classico is going TP Akia. What the fuck? Mr. Classico. Yeah, and SSS has the hardest game in, in, uh, in terms of... That's true, we have Coop. That's true, Gucci. Dragons is not bad, for sure. Just harder to play, I think. Oh, SSS. I'm worried for you, my friend. Burgos doing two cost. <laughs> okay, once again, thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you so much. Holy shit. <laughs> and once again, congratulations to all of those of you who got subs. Nice played in the first game, Lawrence. Nice played. Thank you so much, Poké. I'm happy to see you again. <laughs> so this is doing... Doing well. Which items did uh, he get? Pretty important. DLC lost?
I mean, I also lose round 15 sometimes, but that is not a good position to be in. Also, he's gonna go four cost, I see. I think this is a good option. I think going four cost is a very good option here. Um, but yeah, this is a hot, this is a hot spot to be in. I know it, I know it myself, you, you're too greedy when you play the rounds and you want to preserve your gold, but this is very, very, very hard. Definitely, Master, but I have an amazing community. I have an absolutely amazing community that definitely supports a lot. And once again, thank you all for the support. Also, I don't have the chat on the screen as I normally do, so anyone watching the YouTube video, I'm just talking to myself. It's gonna be confusing. Um, is Classico actually going TV up here with this? Okay. So... I did not expect to see Classico play TB Aki in this game. Especially be But maybe he's saying that scaling is gonna be hard versus these guys. <laughs> Thank you once again, Quake. <laughs> Thank you once again, man. Private idea. So, Classico, Pocket, how is it going for him? For Knights. Okay. He's getting all of his mangoes. The Chinese players are very, very good at getting their mangoes. I don't know how good these mangoes have been, though. He is behind, you see. He is behind. We had two mango players here. And you see Fancy Pants. Look at, look at Fancy Pants. Look at this. 18 out of 8. Look at his goal. And then this guy. 9 out of 48. <laughs> And he's 15 gold behind. So Fancy Pants had a lot of much, 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 much better mangoes. Oh, and he's playing six humans now. With Dondra 2, that is. I wonder if he's gonna blink the Coddle here. I would do that. Fancy Pants is gonna scale really, really well this game. He's actually winning this with six humans. Oh, is he? Did I speak too soon? Can this snap win? Oh my god, this snap is gonna kill everyone. No? This snap is gonna kill no one? This snap is gonna kill everyone? No. Okay. Nice. How's it going for the dump? He's close to his units. He's close to the to the center. 100%, Gucci, 100%. But since this guy isn't doing it, it would be wrong. Fancy Pants actually lost the last round. Oh, he needed to lose it anyways. No mind, so that's good. This guy needs to lose now. Yeah, he's really consolidating, really trying to force a loss. He's going for cost, as I said earlier, has a lot of the good units for it. Yeah, there's no red dumpster. Damn, this is a pretty tense game. He'll see probably has a lot of tangos, yeah. So maybe differently from last game. I think everyone is pretty strong this lobby. Except for SSS. SSS is such a good player, but his lobby did not play, sorry, his uh, his relic did not play with him. And he's switching to TB Akira. 
but TBX is already being played by Classico. And Classico has more gold, more HP. What items does uh, he have? He has good items for it though. I think you need to roll death somewhat hard here because it's double creep round and that is very very hard to beat. He is not winning right now, is he? Does this win? This is double creeps. Does this win? Uh, can anyone tell me, does this win? This looks sketch as fuck. DK can carry, but he's also not using the bottle. Oh my god, Winter Wyvern with the save. Oh my god, the ate us. Oh my god, this is... Oh my god, it wins. Easy. Easy. I mean, this is why he's top 8 and I'm not. Easy. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> easy win. Anyone saying easy win, you're crazy. He has two tangos. So, what did we get? Second chance, discount. Uh, ban humans. Second chance, bolt for Dumpstead. Still, discount for this guy. This guy's just gonna be rolling, fighting strong bots. Shroud for Coco. I like this. Dumpstead is strong, has a lot of units. This guy is also strong, has a lot of units. What a tense game. This game is m more tense than last game. This game is more tense than last game. Strong here as well. He is going to be scaling okay. He made the cheapest ban because he was so behind. I wonder if he's going to roll here. I would. Full cost is insanely strong. DLC is definitely good. Um... I am slightly worried for DLC, mostly because he leveled here. And leveling is quite greedy. Um, rolling on 9 is better than on 8, because you find more units, but it's also harder. Yeah, 2 t here. This guy and Classico. This uh, Ekoko is just chilling, he's going dragons, he already has the dragons. Very nice. Forkit is looking for dragons as well. He has Shakiro already, and he has a lot of gold. And he has decent experience. I lie, he has no experience. Does he have Shroud? What is he gonna pick? Shroud? If he has Shroud, it's very good for him. Shroud? Shroud? Forkit? Shroud? Shroud? No. So it's looking good for both the Coco and uh, DLC, I think. Corkit, I don't know what his relic is, but we'll see if he can scale with it. This guy went all in uh, for a TB board. I get it. It's going to be quite strong for a bit, but does he have the means to scale with it? Tenchi Pants is pushing for late game. He might be going for a sick Warlock uh, game. He has the Warlock early. He is playing Priest here. So he actually wants to go Shroud as well, maybe. This guy is playing uh, Shomo, he's playing for Beast. He'll, he's also playing nice Lone Druid Akira here. He doesn't have Shaco. He is setting up to go for Akira, maybe. But this means that he needs to find Spider Legs on 25. If he does, very good. If he doesn't, impossible. Yeah, another Shroud. 
Dumpstead, very very strong, amazing economy. Uh, has a match for 25. I love this, like amazing position Dumpstead is in. Dumpstead is incredible, so he also knows how to play this. Also good uh, items, classical, strong 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 TB Akia. Good good levels, decent economy, very looking very good. Deal Swiss, Deal Sweet, DLC switched out of uh, uh, Focus to go for a Shaman board. That is interesting. That is interesting because I think this is very hard to play. This is going to be hard for him because his peak with this board is level 10 with a lot of units. Whereas his peak, or his like mid peak, I guess is a better way of saying it. With four cost is a lot earlier, so he might be struggling here. And Dumpstead is going to take a streak from uh, the. Elder Classical. This is why Burger is amazing. Because he is amazing. Two cost. Insane uh, pocket build to pull out. No one ever saw this coming. How did he... Was this why he was training yesterday? To come up with this build? <laughs> I'm kidding. Probling. Oh, Shalmo. Yeah, he's he's very he's gunning to go for like some either some beast warlock board or some four gear board. Damn, it's very exciting to see which relics, uh, which items people are gonna find here. Fancy pants. He's gonna try to pivot into dragons. It looks like. Also makes sense. Damn, this is a hard lobby to play in. A hard lobby to play in. So we have three Shroud players. This guy did not pick his Relic yet. He's probably saving Shroud. And Corkid went, went Vlad. That is not what he would have loved, but I get it. Round 26. Everyone is alive. Everyone is fucking strong. Like, imagine playing in this lobby, guys. Look at this fucking lobby, how awful it looks to be in. Strong, 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 strong. I think these four people at the bottom are the ones who are going to have the hardest time scaling. Not a Coco. A Coco will scale well. But I could be a little bit worried for these three. Um, Aghanims from Corkit on his Snapfire. DLC, I did not see what his, he found. This guy, did he find spider legs? He did not. Shit. But he's beating Dumpstead. Oh my god, this guy is gonna get smacked. Um, and now he picked Shroud. Nice. Yeah, Daywalk, these games are good. These games are good. So far. Dumpstead still ahead. Oh, and he's going for Willow as well. I mean, I have talked a lot about this. Yeah, and adding demons, of course. Classical went 8. It's a very standard way to play as well. Very smart. I think two piece. This pet is confusing me. One Ricky also very good. Maybe a little bit sus placement on the Ricky. See, this silence all of this. Doesn't silence this. 
ELC actually pretty strong. Pocket might suffer a little bit with dragons here. I think dragons can be really strong this game, but it takes a while. So he's gonna lose. He doesn't have shroud. He's gonna win. Okay. This guy, the guy in third place, is the top ranked player right now. He is way ahead of everyone else in terms of ranking and is playing amazingly these days. Yeah, we call him Oshaumo, but I'm I'm unsure. He doesn't really have a name in English, so I just translated his the name of his uh, of his Douyu channel. And he's playing a pretty funny board. Like, look at this shit. Uh, four beast, Akira, Centaur. I, it's not often I would play bots like this, but this is actually really good. And he's trying to just buy time. He still has mangoes. Sorry, he still has uh, tangos. He has a mango. He has uh, an Io. He has an Enigma. He saved this. Uh, I don't. Gucci, was, were you the one uh, asking or HSEO? But he saved this Io for so long. He's going to lose now, though, to Zeus. The worst feeling. Oh, is he? Dang, this. So strong. Oh, he is gonna lose. Damn. Yeah, Mr. SSS. He got the worst relic of everyone, I would say. The worst relic in the worst position. Yeah, Gucci. So, I don't think that uh, using the Coddle was bad. Uh, the, sorry, the IO at the Coddle, but he's saving it because he knows he can save it and he wants to use it for something uh, late game. That's maybe a good lesson for all of us, that maybe we should be holding our IOs longer. Thumbstead lost his streak as well, though, to cork it. Yeah, so the Dragon Bots, both of these two Dragon Bots are beginning to show up. DLC playing uh, for Shaman, for Naga, very nice as well. Fancy Pants is transitioning to uh, Dragons, but that is going to be very hard. No one is dead before 30. And Mo Shaomo in two rounds loses 36 HP. Or something along the line of, lines of that. Yeah, Aghanim snap on uh, Korkid, right? With five dragons. Actually, Korkid is crazy strong. Cuddle 2, DK 2, Snap 2 with Axe, uh, TA 2. Really good. Honestly, he could be looking to add a Sin over Zeus if he wanted. Because he already has uh, three mages, so I think adding a Sin to get three Sins would be pretty good. Uh, Berg has... Somewhat good items. It's very much game dependent on items. Dominator, right? Yeah. Relic box. So we Coco random, I imagine. And got Mango Tree. Koki picked Grace. A classical picked Shroud or Random Shroud. I imagine he random. You do not. You wouldn't want to pick Shroud this early. Uh, and SSS lost uh, the creep round. Damn, this has not been his game. This has not been his game, but he also got the worst relic, I would say. I would say March can work if you're ahead, but if you get March and you're behind, it's impossible. And not impossible, but it's like it's so bad because you get more fighting strength and you need, since you're behind, you don't need fighting strength. You need economic uh, save often. Yeah, and now Aghanim's Coddle. Zeus. Rest in peace. One guy out. 
Oh no, Fancy Pants as well. Oh, he has Golden Mango. He has Tangos as well. Classico also suffering. Damn, and Classico has nothing. Classico does not have Tango or Mango. Classico is actually on his way to die. But also, remember, Classico and this guy, they got the worst relics. The other two players at the bot, Mango and Mango. And then the Vault players are all doing really well. <laughs> like, Mangoes do count for a lot. I think in this instance, Gucci, it's also just... Uh, they got kind of... Like, this game at least, this guy got kind of fucked on uh, relics. Like, it is much harder to play when you don't have uh, good relics. Especially if the other people get good relics. BKB. Dumpster, though, is in a really good position, because he's scaling well. Um, he's looking for Naka so he can go 6 Naka versus the, uh, versus the Dragons, but he might suffer with 6 Naka because uh, at least uh, Pocket has both Snap and uh, PA. TA, sorry. If I were Pocket, I would definitely not be ditching my Snap Fire. Maybe I wouldn't be keep using the Snap Fire, but I would not be ditching it because it's very good this is this late game if he goes, goes Naga. So you can I kind of agree. But I think I like relics, but I just think the choices should be the same for all, everyone. So you can give three choices, but then everyone gets those choices. You can get six choices, but then you everyone gets those six choices. Yeah, but we also see that both of the people who got March, they went for TB because it's a build you can do with low economy and you can do it and push to the lobby but yeah it's a hard game he has the tb3 now spectre spectre is so good in dragons So both of the dragon players have uh, Aghanims. You'll see does not have Mango, but he is fine. Or oh, is he? Oh, if this is bad Mangoes. Oh, DLC? DLC Mango? 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 <laughs> 1 HP. Shit. Okay. Classico is out as well. Oh my god. Classico streaking all game. TB Akira not showing up. It's definitely a tough game. Yeah, and Burger is doing well. A lot of gold, a lot of scaling. He can switch into different things. Fancy Pants might have been too greedy going for a Dragon late game. Might not have. Oh, he might die here. DLC is out and dead. Played a good game, but very, very hard lobby. Fancy Pants. Barely survives. Mo Shamo still in it. Still a Tango. Still Gold Mango. I like this board. Just so everyone knows, this is the kind of board I would want to go for this game. He's still saving the IO. He's had this IO for forever. He's still saving it. Koku, insanely strong Dragon Ball. Insanely strong Dragon Ball. This is very hard to beat. If he gets Spectre 2, it's very crazy. Uh, Corkit also very strong at Dragon Ball. Also with Thin, since I like this a lot. He benched, he sold the, uh, the Susans playing this instead. I think that's a very good choice. 
And Dumpstead is also crazy strong. Hot game. Hot game. Yeah, I think that's it, it as well, Takeshi. It's just... He's very, very low on HP. He has two losses left. Oh my god, and it's double round. Oh my god, he beats this? Crazy. This guy... This guy knows how to play. This guy knows how to play. Let's see which items he get. Okay. He keeps rolling. Okay. Yes, so spot left here, right? Almost six cents. Damn, if he had another cent, he would be so strong. It's a little bit of time to find it. Deso is amazing as well. Good items. I like this guy's board. He needs to find Ricky, though. With Ricky, he's very strong. That was kind of weird. Fancy Pants might die here. Fancy Pants is... Oh my god, survives with 2 HP. Golden Mango, he needs to find the Ricky or the... Uh, or the... Uh, either the Ricky or the another Sin right here. Oh my god, this is so tense. Is this a sell the IO moment? Okay, that makes some kind of sense. He's one, he's one, uh, he was one cent, yeah, he's one cent off of playing six cents, by the way. If he could sell this and get one cent, it would be so strong. Dumpstead lost to a Koku. No, this is a Chinese player. Insanely strong board once it gets rolling. Yeah, you see this board. Like, if he gets Ricky, he's gonna be super strong. Ooh. And Fancy Pants does beat him. Everyone wins. So, everyone has assassins. Quop, Quop. TA. TA, Quop. Everyone wander around. Oh, one guy more can get top four. Nice. So this is a huge, huge upgrade for this guy. Ricky both silencing uh, the dragons, but also giving him six sins. Crazy good upgrade. He's sad he doesn't have better items than TA, but still really strong. Good items on Quop as well. You have Instacast with this. Also playing Akira with the uh, Lone Druids. Um, very strong board, I think. Playing Centaurs as well. I like seeing stuff like this. Very cool. Oh, Fancy Pants might be suffering now. Oh, the Ricky doing wonders. Can he make it? Fancy Pants is out. Moshaumo is still alive. Thumbstud is still alive. Corkid is still alive. And the Koku is still alive. The competition is tough. Yeah, they, these guys are like everyone in this uh, tournament is amazing. That is why. Uh, that is why they were the people in the tournament. <laughs> But yes, this also means that we actually have our next couple matches ready already.
It's a crazy ending. True, he maybe should. Yeah, and Shamo is out. Strong Dragon Bots. Uh, yes, Takeshi, that is probably what I would be doing. This is an insane bot. Double Aghanims. Double Aghanims. Holy fuck. Holy schmuck. Colquitt is, is setting up both with Naga and with Ricky though. I think the Chinese players has still around 150 pink. Yeah, it might. It's a tough game. Everyone is level 10. Yeah, I agree, IB. This is an... So, just so everyone knows, this is an Enigma with acronyms. This is 10% health uh, done... I I don't even know. No, it's not even per second. It, it's per half second. Per half second, it does 10% maximum health. Per half second. On a six second cooldown. Let's, let's watch this fight, for example. Dumpster is now 6 Naga. And watch this. This is with 6 Naga. This was with 6 Naga. Doesn't mean the Dumpster can't win. But Dumpster doesn't really have more scaling from this point onwards. It's very hard to scale harder here. He needs amazing items. And he's losing both to Korkid and to a Cockle. And Korkid actually beat the Cockle. So, yeah, I like keeping the snap and the acronyms. This is very smart. This unit is very good versus both lineups. It's also playing the Ricky to beat uh, Corkit. And Naka Petit vers protects versus uh, abilities. But not pure damage, I think. It's very tense. I would be... It's going to be hard for Dumpster to find a solution to this that is actually good. Yeah, he's crafting tier 4. I wonder what he gets. I wonder what he wants. He is winning this time though. Okay. The Koko loses his streak. And Korkut lives on. Damn, what a finish we're in for. Where would you guys place your bets? If you had any money left, where would you guys place it? None of you bet on Corkit. None of you bet on Corkit. <laughs> so, Daywalker, uh, what Agonyms does it? It increases the level of your skill by one tier. So this uh, sna this little shredder is the same as if Snapfire was level three, and Snapfire is only level two. So this cordle is acting as if it was a level three cordle, and this Enigma is acting as if, as if it were a level three Enigma. The heal is saving everything. Okay, maybe Dumpstad still got it. Oh, it's so close. This is such a hard fight for Dumpstad. Even in this such an aggressive lobby, he still might not have the time to actually uh, find a way to win. Yeah. Pipe, Greaves, Mech, he has so much sustain. 
I mean, maybe if he had refresher and he put pipe refresher on the center, so it was like all this time too. Yeah, but the Enigma is good. The, both the Enigma is good, and here uh, the Snapfire is crazy good. So is the TA. Like. I'm start one versus a cockle here though. Cock it might be losing. No. The items here are very good. I was actually wondering if you might want the acronyms on the DK. Because DK3 is crazy and also does a percentage damage so maybe dk is slightly better but i don't know but i would have been considering putting uh, agnams in dk same for a koku i would probably ditch the coddle axe and put the axe on the dk here for sure also you get a stronger unit that can find into the magic board i actually think for a koku he should probably be thinking of ditching this Also, I wonder if he can get Coddle 3. Pivot into Fork here. Uh, then you just get the uh, magic damage increase. Uh, Agnum's also gives, gives plus 40% magic damage. Cork it is somewhat close to a uh, Ricky 3. Dumpstead lost. They, this is a hard game for Dumpstead. Mr. Street. Refresher on a uh, Coco. Uh, I would again I would probably be putting these items on the DK over the coddle, but I might be wrong there. All the acronyms on the techies. Techies acts is insane as well. I think the coddle is too slow. He's also, he is playing six mages, I guess. Okay, he got smoked. Lumpstead also got smoked. It looks like Corkit, with zero bets on him, might be pulling out another upset. Holy shit. Another upset? Did you guys believe it? Two upsets in a row? 54 minutes in. Easy bet. Again, I think a Coco needs to switch. Oh, he actually won that. And Corkit is still winning. Damn. Hello, passing Sun. It's going well, it's going well. Tournament is underway and we're seeing good matches. What can he do? He has to invoke it too. The items on this is very, very, very crazy. Agonim's Refresher. Dagon, Lincoln, Sabizzle, Skadi, okay. 
Dumpstead is a little low on items, I think. Watch this. Oli, are you here? E one second. Yes, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, so, uh, Chin texted me a question from a uh, 74 player. I yeah. texted you. Uh, could you please uh, send me a message? Uh, I will. So I can uh, present it. Thank you. I will. One second. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, sorry. Let's see. We got a question. One second, I have to answer something. Crazy game, Cogit winning. 